Okay, so we're here in the KTO Maverick training mission, and we're going to talk about how to use AGM-65 Mavericks. All right, so we'll go to air-to-ground mode. We will power on Mavericks, and while they are timing out, spinning up, we will take off. Okay, and the Mavericks are going to take several minutes to time out, and while we wait, we're going to be flying out to... Steer point three to bore set the Mavs. We're going to stay 46,000 feet below the cloud level so that we can uh, successfully bore set the Mavericks. Okay, so the Mavericks are timed out. They're ready to go. Uh, you can see that the weapon page is still black, though. That's because the Mavericks have a simulated uh, cover covering the IR seeker. So what we're going to do is blow the cover off. It says in the manner you can use the uncage button. It doesn't do anything, though. As soon as you switch the master arm to simulate or master arm, We'll get Maverick video. Notice how that happened when I was switched to simulate. So what we'll do now is we'll point towards steer point three, try to find something to bore sight on, and we will bore sight the Mavericks. And let's look for something in our targeting pod. Looks like the air base is below, behind that mountain. All right, while we're ingressing to steer point three, I'll show you some quick uh, switchology for the HOTUS setup. With the weapon page selected, TMS left is going to switch hot on coal to cold on hot. So hot on cold means that the hot objects are going to show up right, cold objects will show up black, and opposite cold on hot, the hot objects will show up black, and the cold objects will show up white. So that is TMS left switches that. Pinky switch will switch the field of view to wide to narrow. Uh, so the pinky switch, just like the targeting pod, switches from wide to narrow. Maverick, it does the same. TMS up is going to be your designate, so that's going to try to lock something up. TMS down is going to, uh, a single TMS down, it's going to unlock whatever you have locked, and uh, double TMS down will reset the Maverick. So right now we're in free mode. You can switch the modes of the Maverick by hitting the cursor enable button or clicking this OSB here. Um, the cursor enable will switch it to viz mode. Uh, will visually acquire a target with the TD box in the, in the cursor, the radar cursor, here. See, I wanted to lock that up. Now, the Maverick's kind of pointed toward that. Fix that with the bore sight, so I'm going to TMS down to reset everything. And then, last is bore sight mode, bore mode. So, the Maverick will be pointed directly where that crosshair is on your HUD. And that way, you can also visually acquire a target. Alright, let's... Uh, Switch to pre mode because you can't slew the radar cursor in any other Maverick mode. Slow down to 300 knots. We are going to select this building out here because it's just kind of standing standing alone. Um, see that building? So it's going to lock it up with the targeting pod. See that building is right here with the Maverick. Attempt to lock it with the Maverick. Same location. And once the Maverick is locked, we're going to click bore sight. And I lock it, locked it again with TMS up. So then we'll missile step to station 7. The other Maverick station comes up. I'm going to try to um, lock the same position. There we go. And we'll bore sight. Okay, the Mavericks are now bore sighted. So I'm going to TMS down to cancel all these locks, these Maverick locks. Switch to the targeting pod. TMS down to uh, deselect that lock. And then... Um, as we slew the targeting pod, we can see that the Mavericks are slaved to what the targeting pod is looking at on both stations. So, as I slew this targeting pod up to, I don't know, this little building here, see the Mavericks are slaved. Um, and then the other station as well. So that is what bore sighting is. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, head to steer point four. And we'll talk about the attack. Alright, so we'll fly out to 2.4. Once we get a little bit closer, we'll come back. And we're back. You can see we have a little bit of cloud cover blocking our view of the target at steer point 4. Cross areas right there. Um, so we'll switch to the targeting pod, and our target today is these, uh, kind of these launchers. Let me zoom in a little bit here. See those launchers behind the barrier there? 
This is going to be our Mavericks target. We'll fire two Mavs at those. Okay, so we've successfully skirted the clouds here. We're about 11 miles away. You can see that from the carrot and that uh, range box, that range bracket there. What we'll do is we will have the weapon page active on one MFD, and on the other MFD we'll use the targeting pod to select target. So you got that selected. What the targeting pod will do is it'll hand off the target to the Maverick. So I, as I TMS up, you can see it's it flashed a handoff in progress, and no handoff is complete because the C for complete is there over the station three, and the C is there on the targeting pod. I'm in the bracket. I'm seven miles away. Maverick is locked onto our target, and a neat thing here with Mavericks, you can missile step and then kind of slew that Maverick. So both Mavericks are handed off to different targets. All right, so we're going to rifle times two. Got a good lock. Rifle and rifle. Two good locks. See the Mavericks are tracking. Kind of peel off to the right here. A little bit of AAA and man pad stuff over here. We don't want to get too close. Then we'll monitor the progress with the targeting pod. Mavericks are pretty slow missiles, and one and two hit. Nice. You can see that in the targeting pod, as well as with your eyeball. Okay, so that is pre-mode with the Mavericks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend, and we'll come back for uh, another target. I'll be back in a minute. All right now, I'll show you a little bit about viz mode again. So I'm uh, hitting the cursor enable button to go from pre to viz. And what viz is going to do is it's going to have this little box with a dot in it. You visually select a target that way. Stay pretty slow, and you can see the Mavericks slewed to that biz box, that TD box. Starts as the, with the HUD as the sensor of interest, so you DMS down to fix that. It went to the it went to the targeting pod first, and then it went to the Maverick. So I'm going to try to get that little truck right there, and I got him. You notice that little crosshair. Um, it's flashing. It, that crosshair has got to be steady in order for the Maverick to track, and we've got a steady track on that target. So if you get goofiness like this, you just kind of make sure the weapons and parameters in the keyhole. I'll show you that in a minute. And we have a good lock. I'm going to fire the Maverick rifle. I'm going to see Maverick's doing a little loft. I'm going to break out right. I had to get shot by some triple A. So we got the targeting pod watching this guy. And nice splash. Okay, we'll extend out this way and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're in bore mode and what that means is um, the Maverick's going to be pointed directly at that crosshair that's on your HUD. So I'm just going to point that crosshair where I want it to be and I can see the Mavericks tracking at once so I'm gonna find that stabilize it and it found the truck that I want and I'm gonna rifle got a solid crosshair good to go rifle and it's the targeting pod to watch progress Chat, flare. Chat, flare. and splash Different instances where you would use this pre-mode, you kind of have a steer point pointed at your target. You know where the targeting pod's pointed at. So uh, you'd use pre-mode because the targeting pod's already slewed to that steer point or can be slewed to that steer point relatively easily. Viz mode is nice because if you don't know where the hell your targeting pod's pointed or the steer point, you're completely off a of steer point and you haven't, don't have a mark point for your target that you see. Just switch to viz mode, and then you can visually acquire that target with the TD box. So, let's say I want some of these buildings. Or something like that. I can just slew that TD box to where I want it to be. And I can get the Maverick pointed at that. And then TMS up will lock that Maverick.
then bore mode is kind of like a viz mode where uh, targeting pod can be pointed somewhere completely differently. You just bore <clears throat> bore sight. Use the bore sight crosshair right there to find your target visually, and then stabilize that that maverick. TMS up. It'll stabilize the seeker like that. I just TMS up. There's another truck. Found a truck. It's locked. I got a solid crosshair, which is good. Means I'm in a keyhole. And I'm going to rifle. No idea whether it was in parameters or not. Probably was. That truck right there should be toast in a second. Splash. That's the basics of the AGM-65 Maverick. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, post them in the comments, and uh, hope to see you guys at Falcon Lounger and UOAF.